Tacitus reports that among certain barbarian kings, to make an obligation binding, the custom was to clasp their right hands tightly together and interlock their thumbs, and when by dint of pressing them the blood had risen to the tips, they pricked them lightly and then sucked each other's blood. The doctors say that the thumbs are the master fingers of the hand, and that their etymology in Latin is from Polare. The Greeks call it as though to say another hand, and it seems that sometimes the Latins also take it in the sense of the entire hand. But not excited by the gentle voice, nor summoned by the soft thumb, does it rise. Marshall. It was a sign of favor in Rome to close in and hold down the thumbs. Your partisan, with both his thumbs, would praise your game. Horace. And of disfavor, to raise them and turn them outward. When the people's thumb turns up, they kill their man to please them. Juvenile. The Romans exempted from war those who were wounded in the thumb, as no longer having a firm grasp for weapons. Augustus confiscated the goods of a Roman knight who had maliciously cut off the thumbs of two young sons of his to excuse them from going into the army. And before his time in the Senate, at the time of the Italian Wars, condemned Caius Atinius to prison for life and confiscated all his goods for having deliberately cut off the thumb of his left hand to exempt himself from that expedition. Someone, I don't remember who, having won a naval battle, had the thumbs of his vanquished enemies cut off to deprive them of the means of fighting and pulling an oar. The Athenians had them cut off the Aegeanitans to take away their superiority in naval skill. In Lacedaemon, the schoolmaster chastened children by biting their thumbs.